About four months ago, I left my full-time job to pursue the thing that I've always known I was supposed to be doing. And I was so blessed because right out of the gate, I had like seven freelance gigs set up for me. So I invested in some equipment to prepare for those jobs, expecting them to pay back. And then quarantine hit and I lost all of them. But I was still at peace with my decision because this is my passion. This is what I've wanted to do for so long. So I spent the quarantine diving into my why. Why did I quit? Why do I want to pursue this? What drives me? What motivates me to start my own business, to push forward in times like these? And I came up with some really amazing why, some really good goals. But I kept coming up against this thing, this thing that I want to ignore. And frankly, I have for a few months, um, but I can't. I have my cousin up here visiting me from out of town and we're set to go on a lot of adventures this weekend and to explore Oregon and I want to film it but I keep thinking okay well I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna enjoy it because it's my passion but then what what do I do with the footage last night I hopped on YouTube and I came across Peter McKinnon's 72 hour short film contest and it clicked no more excuses I'm starting this YouTube channel so I guess I just want to say a few things. First, thank you, Peter, and all the other filmmakers who've inspired me and helped me better my craft. And second, I hope to show women that we can be filmmakers too. I mean, look at little Miss Twigarms carrying a Ronin for eight miles. <laughs>